Uptown hero Spencer Stone is out of the hospital. He was released after being stabbed several times a week ago. And tonight, we're hearing from one of the other heroes who thwarted that terror attack in France. He's talking about what happened to his friend. Case Area 3's Claire Duan has his first reaction to the Sacramento stabbing. Airman Spencer Stone, all smiles and ready to finally leave the UC Davis Medical Center. In a release statement, he thanked the medical team, his family, friends, and everyone who has sent encouragement during this challenging time. He also says, I'm focused now on healing and recovering and look forward to the next part of my journey. Recognizing Rosemont High School alumni, Anthony Sadler. Meantime, the Sacramento City School District honored fellow hero Anthony Sadler with a resolution for his bravery, helping to stop an attack on a French train in August. He spoke about Stone, his childhood friend. Um, I'm just glad he's alive, glad he's back home. Um, he's had enough of the hospitals these past month or so, so I'm just glad he's back home. He's doing good. Stone was already recovering from injuries to his head, neck, and hand after tackling the gunman in France. Then he was stabbed early Thursday morning during a fight near 21st and K in Sacramento. Sadler visited Stone at the hospital days ago. They know we love and support Spencer, so um, I'm just glad they're all be back together and they have him home again. So hopefully no more, no more violence. Hopefully he'll be able to just live now. And a lot of support for Stone at the Midtown Business Association's annual gala tonight, where they are raising the last of the 6,000 reward to help capture the men in this video. This week, police released these images of the getaway car. Midtown is uh, absolutely a safe community, but when acts of violence that are few and far between do happen, it's really important that we take a stand. For us, it's all about celebrating safely and banding together to take a stand against violence in our community. Police were unable to obtain license plates from pictures of the getaway car. So far, no arrests have been made. In Midtown, Claire Duan, KCRA 3 News.